Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm going to be talking about my favorite fall palettes. Ah, ah, I love fall so much. Fall is my favorite season, you know, closely followed by winter, and just a good eyeshadow palette that just captures those nice grungy fall colors is just for me. I love them. So I have, I believe, eight palettes and then one honorable mention palette here to talk about, so let's just go ahead and jump right in. Also, I'm not a huge fan of this black lipstick, so excuse how it may or may not wear as I talk throughout this video. I'm currently testing out lipsticks for my next Best and Worst of Black Lipsticks video, which will be coming out sometime in October. In this one, it's it's not doing too hot. Alright, so I'm not going to do these palettes in any specific order because I can't really rank them because I really like <laughs> all of these palettes so much. I'm just going to jump in and they're fairly equal, just to let you know. The first palette I want to talk about is from e.l.f. and this is the Mad for Matte 2 palette. And this palette is just a gorgeous, affordable matte fall dream. Look at this. You've got these gorgeous oranges, deep grungy tones. You got a nice matte black in here. Of course you do. And like just these warm colors. And then you've got this nice pop of like fuchsia down here. This palette, I open up this palette and it's just fall. It matches kind of the background of my room right now. Uh, I'm just... Mm. Mm. I love this because it is very affordable. The formula is just on point. Um, the only downside is this is an all matte palette. So if you're looking for something that has a little pop of shimmer or anything, this is really more of a companion palette. Or it could be a good everyday go-to palette if you're just looking for some nice neutral fall tones. My next favorite palette comes from Kylie Cosmetics. And unfortunately, I believe this is a limited edition. This was her Halloween palette from... It, was it 2018 or 2019? I want to say it's got a nice big mirror in it and the packaging is to die for and then this is the palette itself. It is just stunning. It was honestly one of the most unique palettes I had seen come out like to that point and I loved that they actually did a Halloween palette. They actually acknowledged Halloween. You know how many companies and like brands are jumping straight to Christmas? It bugs me to no end when brands skip my favorite time of the year and just jump straight into Christmas. You know, I just give me some fall, give me some pumpkins, give me some everything. And that is what I'm getting here in this palette. You've got like these nice grungy kind of like witchy tones here at the bottom, like a good purple, a nice light kind of um, gray down here. But then you've got like a nice pumpkin shade over here. You got a bright yellow. This is just... This, this was a different kind of out there palette, but I really loved like the Kylie Cosmetics team that came up with this. Like back then... This was such an out there palette and I loved it and I still love it to this day. The next palette is a good affordable go-to that is still available. This is from Juvia's Place. This is the Nomad palette. First of all, packaging, stunning. Love it. These grungy tones remind me so much of ABH's subculture palette. I just, I love this. You got some greens, you got some oranges, you got a nice yellow. And then this shimmer shade in the middle reminds me so much of the shade in the next palette we're going to be talking about in just a minute. But I love, I just love this palette. You can get a good all-in-one look here. You can experiment, you can do something bright, you can do something dark and deep and grungy. I absolutely adore this palette. This was one of the first palettes I believe Juvia's Place came out with, with the smaller pans. These aren't as big as like, you know, the big palettes Juvia's Place is known for. So they're smaller and I really appreciate that. I think this is just a good, perfect size palette just as it is. The next palette is from a brand that I'm not buying from anymore, but I've had this palette forever. And honestly, it's one of like, I think it's like one of my top five palettes, like of all time. That's the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I just don't know how they managed to just knock this right out of the park. They've got like the perfect combination of shades and tones in here. You've got some nice neutrals over here. They're not they're not boring though. They're really nice versatile neutrals. And then you've got some greens, some grungy greens, purples, pinks, oranges, terracottas. There is just so much in this palette. And one of my favorite all-time looks comes from this palette. I just mm. And the shade that I mentioned before that the shade in the um, Juvia's Place palette reminds me of is right here. I actually have pan in it and it is called Luscious. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous shade and uh, I can't get over how much I adore this palette and all the looks that I come up with it. And this is a palette I can use all year. I mean, I've definitely gone back in and used it every now and then, but distinctly when I look at this, when I see this color story, the first thing that pops into my head, even though it's a peach palette, I think they were going for summer, but I just think fall. I just think especially like these deep 
warm tones down here. The purples and greens think Halloween. Oh, just, mm, I love this palette. <laughs> I love this palette so much. It's just perfect. The next palette on my list comes from Natasha Denona and is one of her mini palettes. This is the mini gold palette and honestly, this is stunning. I look at this palette and it's not necessarily like jump out fall at you like there are shades in here that are like deep green and grungy. I think it just like the smoky grungy tones of it just remind me of a good like fall evening. I uh, just... Mm. And I love the fact that Natasha Denona has turned towards these mini palettes because it, it makes her formula and her products much more accessible because her other palettes, one of which is going to come up next, like the Metropolis palette, these are expensive. Even this, like this I believe is more in the $60 to $80 range as opposed to her other palettes, which are in like the $100 to $200 and up range. It's much more accessible. So I love the idea of these mini palettes and I think this is her best mini to date, the mini gold palette. It's just gorgeous. Like I sneak peeked before, the next palette is the Metropolis palette, also from Natasha Denona. I have reorganized my palette so it looks a little bit different than what you might see online, but this... I don't know why they released this for like holiday. I believe this was a holiday palette last year. This is a perfect fall palette. Just look at all the tones you get in here. You do get a bit of a repeating pattern on the top of the two, kind of neutrally rows up here, but this entire second row is just about all shimmers. And I have to say, Natasha's shimmers, they're gorgeous. They are stunning. You, uh, I can't even, I could do a whole video just talking about Natasha's shimmers, but they are stunning. So I can't complain too much about this being a little bit of neutral overlap in the first two rows because the shimmers are to die for. I love this row of like these warm pumpkin-y shades. And then you come down here, you got these gorgeous greens and blues. I, I love this palette so much. This is such a perfect all-in-one. This could be your go-to fall palette. It's just, it's, it's stunning. I love it. And again, this is one of her smaller palettes, so the pan sizes are smaller than in her typical, you know, 100 and something dollar palettes. But I liked that because you did get more variety. And I will say with this packaging, it is so easy to dip to pot them and then just rearrange them to your heart's content, which I would 100% recommend doing in all of her palettes Ex with the exception of like the of course like her minis you can't really depot easily at least and rearrange here these pop out like so easily and then you can just rearrange the palette and it's just it's so much fun and you can get it definitely to um like a way that makes more sense to you so like this made the more like the most sense to me in my mind and so now when i look at the palette i know what i want to do and i've got inspiration and ideas and all this other fun stuff so don't be afraid to like jump in and rearrange your palettes because you could definitely just make something that is more curated to you and your lifestyle and your makeup. I could not have a fall eyeshadow palette video without mentioning this gorgeous palette. This is the ColourPop Good Sport palette and I, uh, I am so sad that this was limited edition because this is a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous, stunning fall palette like this is literally I keep saying this I love all these fall palettes but like this one like is so affordable and it's like literally you look at it and you're like fall you're in Halloween like it is stunning I love the purples the yellows the grungy greens there's, there's a pattern that you, you're gonna see with all of these palettes really grungy greens really bright purples and yellows gorgeous oranges burnt siennas just uh, and then nice bright shimmers. I love every shimmer in this palette. I did do a full face with this palette and I was shocked at how well that turned out. If you missed that video, I'll throw it up in the cards, but this palette keeps surprising me and I love it to death. Um, unfortunately, it's no longer available. I have not seen an all-in-one palette that dupes this because this is just so unique and stunning, but I know Temptalia did like a shade-by-shade -shade breakdown of this palette and mentioned other single shadows that match this the best. So if you're looking for a good, you know, single shadow by single shadow dupe list, I'll have that listed down below. The next palette on my list is a dupe of a palette that I loved so much I panned the whole thing. This is from Bad Habit and this is the Retro Love palette. Unfortunately, I do not believe this brand is around and selling anymore, but this was a dupe for the ABH Subculture palette. I did pan the entirety of the ABH palette in 2019, so if you missed that, I'll throw my whole pan that palette 2019 playlist up in the cards. But again, 
a stunning grungy palette and I know subculture was a bit mm, of a controversy when it came out I was one of the few people that loved the palette as soon as I got it and I loved it so much that I decided I had to pan it because I just wanted to spend more time with the palette and with the shades and with the formula and I'm really glad that I did that experience is one that I say I would think it's like one of my like best makeup experiences was doing that pan that palette and I'm so happy that I got this dupe <laughs> so that I still have those same like tones and like this range that I had of that palette even though I did pan the whole thing. This isn't a 100% like perfect dupe. The matte shades are kind of so-so. The shimmers are stunning and gorgeous. Like we've got the cube dupe. We've got the um Oh, I forgot the shade name for this one, but the the shimmer dupes are actually pretty good The mattes are kind of hit and miss and you got to like really work with them But overall like I'm really happy to still have this color story around and if I ever feel in the mood to really pick this back up Or go back and watch one of my tutorials and that I did during that project I'm glad that I have this to reach for so last but not least we actually have an honorable mention and it's an honorable mention because it's a palette that I've wanted for a while but I haven't actually used yet because I just got it so I can't really put it with the rest of the palettes because I haven't used this one yet. This is from NYX and this is the NYX Ultimate Multi Finish Shadow Palette in Warm Rust and I have to say that just again fall. <laughs> fall on a palette. This is um, a great idea for a palette too because you basically have four shades but you do them in different finishes. So you've got matte, you've got satin, and then you've got shimmers right up here. This is such a great idea just for a shadow line. And I know NYX has a whole line of these palettes. I don't know why I just never really got my hands on this palette especially because um who was it? Andrea Mattiano always talked about this palette and how much she loved it and I've wanted it ever since. I recently did a makeup um exchange with my friend Victoria and she had this palette and was going to declutter it and I was like oh my god please don't I want it <laughs> so I got it and I cannot wait to play with it the package came like literally yesterday so I can't wait to spend more time with this so there we have it those are all of my favorite fall palettes that just mm, make me feel all warm and cozy and pumpkiny and spooky and mm, if you can't tell fall is my favorite <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching let me know down below what is your favorite fall palette and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.